Hey everyone, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com, a personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. And today on the show, we are playing my pick for 2018 Game of the Year, Celeste. This is one that I actually streamed at the very beginning. Oh, there we got Jenna dancing. That's a that's a stream deck glitch. Um, this is one that I streamed really early on in my channel's life. If you go all the way back to the beginning, you'll find a video of Celeste. It's not very good quality, though. I was still dealing with a lot of technical issues and trying to find my voice as a streamer. And I've always said to myself, like, I want to go back and play this game and stream it right. Or at least better than how I streamed it before. Um... And so that now with some context, I've beaten the game. Uh, I, I loved it so much that it is my personal game of the year. And we can talk about why in just a second. But let's start a new file. Let's start a new file. Keep it fresh. New year. New me. New Celeste. From the top. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Let's move here. Get comfy here. All right. So Celeste came out almost a year ago. Oh, I don't have the dash yet. Almost a year ago, it was a game that came out January 2018. And... I remember not... Um... Okay, so you don't like Pocket Rumble. I have heard the game but never played uh, or seen it. So I'm not sure if you're talking about Pocket Rumble or Celeste right now. Uh, Pocket Rumble, I will say, I liked Pocket Rumble a lot. I think it is a great fighting game, but it has some really big problems in terms of its AI. There's only one difficulty setting, and it's too hard for most people. And I think the matchmaking is awful. But... um. I think, like, the core fighting game in it is excellent. It's just they messed up some of the stuff around it that makes it really tough. Anyway, oh, back to the game. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit much for you. <laughs> well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things. Things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. So Celeste, 10 out of 10. Pocket Rumble, 6 out of 10. I don't think my score would be that much different from yours for Pocket Rumble. I think I would give it, like, a 7 out of 10. But, like, in the same range. It is a good game that has faults. Oh, no. You can do this. Whew. All right. Level 1, Forsaken City. Eagle Shen, I thought you didn't play PC games. I don't play PC games. This is on the Nintendo Switch. But that, I, I'm glad you, <laughs> glad you remember that. Oh, good morning, good after... Wherever you are in the world, hello. Good to see you again, Eagle Shen. Uh, no, 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 no. And it's funny you mention that. I actually got a... Oh. Burr. <laughs> my friend... One of my friends actually gifted me some games on Twitch using the Twitch launcher. And so I have some PC games installed on my computer right now. I think it's Samurai Showdown that he gifted me. So... At some point, maybe I will try it and we'll play a PC game for the first time in almost a decade. 
Mm. Ah, that one got away. That's okay. We're going to play Celeste pretty straight through. I'm not going to mess with the B-sides too much. I think that was my big mistake when I streamed this last time, when it first came out, was that I tried to stream the B-sides, and I, I... Oof. They are so hard, and I'm simply not that good. Not good enough to beat those. So I ended up dying over 400 times on that second B-side. And... Yeah, I don't know if anyone wants to sit through me coping with that, so... Let's just play it straight through, and... Just have fun. I just want to have fun and talk about why I love this game so much, really. But yeah, Ego Shen, how you been? Long time no see. Ooh, I didn't realize that was there. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Well, you know, the boy keeps coming. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, man. How are your your holidays? Also, happy 2019. Oh, I didn't realize there was some secret there either. Man, I, I, I was trash at this game. Oh, I see what I have to do. Okay. Got it. In the meantime, let me tell you about Celeste. Woo! There we go. It was cool. Did you get up to anything fun, exciting, weird, family drama? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, we are we are playing really sloppy right now. Okay, jump. Nice. Let's go get this berry out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm I'm not gonna. I mean, everyone in the chat could see that. I try and keep it a, a family friendly show. Actually, I'm gonna hit clear. But I I saw what you wrote, and congratulations to you, man. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, oh, congrats. Um, yeah, I... Oh, man. That reminds me of a story. I, I, I might be breaking my... So, in college... In college, I had a classmate... And a bunch of a uh, bunch of his friends used to tease him about how do I use this? Not having let's 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 use this about you know what? I'm not gonna tell I'm not gonna tell that story I'm not gonna do it. But look, congratulations, man! Uh, sounds like you had an excellent holiday. <laughs> um. Is there any, like, family-friendly stories you are <laughs> willing to share? <laughs> You're kill <laughs> killing me, man. Whoa. Also makes me wonder, I know people clear the chat, but like, was this the first time you have announced this publicly? Like, did I get the world exclusive on that news? If so, I feel very honored. But anyway, uh, while you tell me some other stuff that happened during your holidays, let's talk a little more about Celeste. This is, as you can see, a platformer in the style of 
kind of like a Super Meat Boy, where it is very challenging. You're trying to navigate through small but very complex boards. And it really is about trying to... Yeah, get from point A to point B. But what sets this game apart from a game like Super Meat Boy is that there it's the story. It is about this girl Madeline trying to overcome her inner demons and climb this mountain. And she goes through a lot of personal stuff along the way. The game ends up being a whole metaphor for mental health and how to take care of yourself and the stresses and anxieties we go through and best of best ways of coping with them. And that really struck a personal chord with me having reflected on my own life and some of the stuff I've dealt with. And I see Ego Shen, world exclusive. I I mean, <laughs> I mean wow. Th thank you. I, 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 I am honored to have had that news. I'm sorry I can't keep it up on the screen. But I'm honored that you felt <laughs> the need to share that here. This memorial dedicated to those who perished on the climb. R.I.P. Pour one out. Press F. Wow, this game really had me. I don't get it. <laughs> had me in third person. <laughs> this might have been a mistake. There we go, chapter one complete. We did it in, yeah, pretty quick time. I mean, we probably could have gone faster, but I'm not here to speed run this game. That is not what we're going to do through this series of series of streams. I'm going to try and stream this to the end. I mean, we're not going to beat this whole thing today, but over the next few streams, I'm hoping to beat, so play Celeste in full. Chapter one, that was fast. Strawberries will impress your friends, but that's about it. Only collect them if you really want to. Out of talk. So, with my my friends about this. I, I'm Canadian. I, I am in Canada right now. And Canada does not show up much as a setting in video games. And Celeste, as you can see, Mount Celeste is in Canada. Is Celeste the best video game where Canada is a stage or it is the, the level? I don't know. Also, this is my favorite song in the game. Oh. One of my all-time favorite video game songs. I need to turn this up in my headphones. Ooh. Secrets. I don't think we can do anything here yet, though. Da-na-na-na-na. Canada syrup. Yes, we are we are known the world over for our maple syrup. Ego Shen, are you a fellow Canadian? Mm -mm. Have you ever played Undertale the best game? So I take it that you really like Undertale. Okay, there's the mirror there. I will say no, I have not played Undertale. I... I don't think it's my style of game. Uh, RPGs generally not my... Not my cup of tea. That said, I have watched someone play Deltarune in full. Ugh, okay. We're probably going to have to go back up later and do that. But we can't break this wall. And I know Delta Ru Rune, not really the same thing, but sort of, kind of. Nani? I have no idea what that means, but okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this might be a problem now.
Ah, no. There we go. Now we get it. Oh. Mm -mm. There we go. Opens up these sort of teleporter things that kind of like zip you through the world. That said, you will have to go straight and... They can kill you <laughs> very easily. Have you ever played Hyper Life Drifter? No, I have not. I've heard about it, though. Ooh, there we go. Is Hyper Life Drifter a game I should play, though? Oh, there we go. Secrets. I don't think I found that the first time around. Yes, the... Not sure what you're trying to say there, but I'm sure you will finish up that sentence for me. Na, 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 na. Mm, is this a room just for the strawberry? It's a story without words. Okay. Well, I... I when push comes to shove, I will take gameplay over story 10 times out of 10, but I, I, I greatly appreciate a good story. Alright, where are we going now? Hmm, back up we go. Nice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so that's the thing with the those teleporters that you can just smash your face in and then you're gone. And we are also back at the beginning, which is not good. Oh, there we go. Nope, that's not going to do it. Oh, I get it. Oh, it got quiet. Madeline, darling, slow down. Who said that? Oh, I'm simply a concerned observer. Are you... me? I'm part of you. Why would part of me look so... creepy? This is just what I look like, okay? Deal with it. Sorry, I didn't mean... Forget about it. I can't tell you what a relief it is to finally get out of your head. But look, I'm worried about us. We need a hobby, but this... I know it sounds crazy, but I need to climb this mountain. You are many things, darling, but you are not a mountain climber. Who says I can't be? I know it's not your strong suit, but be reasonable for once. You have no idea what you're getting into. You can't handle this. That is exactly why I need to do this. Are you the weak part of me or the lazy part? I'm the pragmatic part, and I'm trying to be diplomatic here. Let's go home. Together. Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of this game. The part where... Your dark side, well, your your pragmatic side, as she would say, is chasing you through these levels. And she's just kind of mirroring what you do a second or two after you do it. So you constantly have to move forward. 
It's such a cool device. Ah, and you can't touch her or you die. Ah, no. Okay. Whew. Let's, um... Okay, Jet, calm down. Calm down. You can do this. Oh. Okay. Up. Over. Grab that. Ah, no. Oh, okay. We got to... We got to be quicker. And we have to escape that particular area better. There. Alright. What are we doing now? Alright. Forget that strawberry for now. Let's just get out of here. Oh. Da -na -na -na, da -na -na, da -na. Wasn't going for that strawberry, but... No! Okay, we almost got it that time. Up. Over. No! Huh. What's the timing on that? Oh no! Hmm. Nope. Nope. This is no good. Okay, so we're not going to make it fast enough through there. So, we got to... There it is. Okay, get out of here. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh man, we did it without the third jump. That's awesome. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh man, there's like five of them. Ah no. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Drop it like it's hot. Jump. Go over. Break this down. No. That was my fault. Why did... Okay. Let's try that again. I know this is a really long sequence here. I'm probably yelling at me to jump, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Okay, okay. Once that platform falls, you cannot jump. That is good to know. Not like Donkey Kong Country. Alright. So I need to dash, dash, 
Yep. So get this. Down. Oh, no! I didn't hit diagonal on that. Okay, we're, we're fine. We'll be fine. Whew. I think the platforming gets so much harder than this in this game. Diagonal down. There. Up. Over. Across. Down. Just go. There we go. Whew. Oh, she's still chasing me. Pretty sure there's a secret up here. Yep. What kind of secrets you hiding? Ooh, I'll take that. Nice. All right. Hello? Madeline. Are you calling from a payphone? Yeah. No, wait. You called me. What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. I'm in trouble. I'm being chased by... someone. I don't really understand what's going on, but I'm in danger. I can feel it. Madeline, you only call me when you're panicking in the middle of the night. You don't have to make up some ridiculous story just to get my attention. I'm not making it up. You always do this. Shh, it's all right. Calm down. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Talk to me. I'm climbing Celeste Mountain. I found this old mirror and it shattered, but part of me escaped and... I'm dreaming, aren't I? Madeline, of course you're dreaming. I haven't spoken to you in months. Why would I start now? Ugh, why am I even climbing this stupid mountain? I'm wondering the same thing. It's time to give up and go home. Oh, jeez. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Oh, we didn't talk to the guy the in the first level. Oh, I messed up. Ho oh, there, fellow explorer. Oh, hi. Did you also trek up here to scope these old, ru scope out these old ruins? Uh, no. I'm headed for the summit. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far-off land. <laughs> Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type. I get it. I just imagined some dark backstory for you. Hey, Theo. Sorry about earlier. I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, this is a good place for it. Something about these ruins feels so introspective. It's really making me take a look in the mirror, so to speak. Yeah, I get that. So what far off land do you hail from? Well, in my inquisitive well, my inquisitive compatriot, I don't hail from the mystical enigmatic kingdom of Seattle. Or this is where I come from Seattle. It sounds like a special place. Climbing up here was tough, but totally worth it. Just look at these ruins. I took so many great picks. Want to see? Oh. Sure. <laughs> Theo, these are great. Maybe I'll finally hit a thousand followers with these. 
Oh, we need to formally commemorate this occasion. Take a selfie with me. Uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea right now. Come on, it's easy. Like this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't worry, I won't post that one. No, it's alright, you can post it. I'm just not photogenic. Madeline, don't be so hard on yourself. No one looks good without a filter. <laughs> Casual, yet refined. What made you try photography? I don't know how long this conversation goes. Well, we're going to keep going. My grandpa was really into it. Apparently, he was semi-famous in the photography world. I don't know if I'll ever be that good at it. But it's nice to feel close to him. So you're determined to climb the entire mountain? Yeah, I told myself I would. I'm done breaking promises to myself. Life goals. I dig it. I doubt I'll make it to the top like you, but I'm not ready to turn back just yet. Are you getting any data up here? I don't have a smartphone. Madeline. I don't know how to respond to that. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's keep it moving. Oh, I forgot about this part of the music. Where is this going? Yeah, so now through all these areas again without the, the mystical stuff. And here we are, back at the phone. Hello? Hey, Mom. Madeline, what a nice surprise. How's your trip? It's okay. I'm just kind of overwhelmed. Oh no, are you having another panic attack? Focus on your breathing, honey. I'm here. What's going on? Chapter complete. Great. Only five berries. That's that's no good, but we keep climbing. We keep climbing. That's all that's what we do. And I guess I'll take a second here to just tell you if you didn't watch Boss Rush and you're watching this, like, hey, why do you love this game so much? And it's the yeah, let's take a let's take a quick intermission here. Just to talk about Celeste. My game of the year, Celeste. I I love this game because it the platforming is airtight. You are jumping from place to place, and it, the, it feels really good. It's, got, it's very simple mechanically. All you really get is a jump, a grab, and a dash. But then it finds all these different ways around the, ways, around the way that the levels are designed to keep it fresh throughout. But what puts it over the top for me is it's the story. It's that story of the girl climbing the mountain and all of the anxieties she's going through, all the stress she's going through, how she copes with it, and... It makes me reflect back on my own life and my own my own struggles mentally and like I don't know if I'm I mean I, I don't want to be disrespectful to anyone who has any sort of like identified conditions by medical professionals but like I know I've been in dark places before in my own head and in particular there was a couple year stretch after college where I thought life was supposed to go a specific way because of the things I had done leading up to that point, and it really didn't. And that really wore me down. And it took me a long time to kind of just pick myself back up and start to make that climb. And I guess we can be more specific here. We're, we're friends, right? 
uh, after college, I, I went to school for radio broadcasting. I, I was a straight A student all the way, all the way through school. And it was always taught to me that, hey, if you do good in school, you're going to do well in the real world. And it seemed that way at first. I got my – I graduated with honors in radio broadcasting. I specialized in radio announcing, and I got an internship where I got to be on the air. And I was on, I was on the air doing weather on weekends and the overnight shift. And I, I, I was having the time of my life. And after a couple of months, the company needed to do some restructuring, and I got let go. And that was the last time I was on the radio. I would do, so I would stay in the radio industry. It took a couple of months for me to get a job back in, but it wasn't in that particular capacity. And I was still working the part-time job I had in high school. And I was like, man, I, I thought I did everything right. And maybe I did, but it still didn't work out for me. And that was really hard for me to come to grips with, just this idea that the world is more complicated than getting good grades at school or the idea that if you do these things well, you are just going to get the thing that you are looking for because it, it, it doesn't work out that way. And... It sent me down like a spiral, an existential crisis, and I. it took a long time for me to pick myself up off my feet and just keep climbing that mountain, so to speak. And so with Celeste, I think the game really... Man, just <laughs> dancing at the worst time. I'm trying to be super serious right now, and it keeps doing that. Okay. And, um... Yeah, I think uh, this feels, when I play this, it feels like a metaphor for that particular era of my life. And I can, like, I can put myself in Madeline's shoes and, you know, me climbing this mountain is literally me climbing my own mountain that I was in at the time. And so, yeah, no game has ever connected with me on an emotional level quite like that like yes there are games that have made me cry there have been games that um have really hit home in one way or another but in that particular regard with such a very traumatic moment of my own life just being able to turn to this game and play it and i don't know experience it from a different lens and find ways to cope with that was just really really special on top of all the amazing things it does as a video game it just is a piece of media that i can refer to as i don't know, just having a great message that really speaks to speaks to me and so that is why this is my game of the year and one of the greatest games i've ever played i It is up there for sure. Uh oh. There we go, got the key. Let's go in the store. I remember having trouble with this level. See, there's a lot of puzzle solving in this one. Also, the drums in this level are crazy. If this is the one I'm thinking of. Welcome. May I help you? Are you a ghost? A ghost? Don't be silly. I am the concierge of this fine establishment. Welcome to the world-renowned Celestial Resort Hotel. Mr. Oshiro, at your service. Two guests in one day. Business is finally picking up. How long will you be staying with us? Oh, I'm just passing through. I'm climbing the mountain. Do you have a back exit? A back exit? Just passing through, this will not do. You know, I can still hear you, right? <laughs> In any case, our rear service door is reserved for the hotel staff only. However, our top pre our top floor presidential suite features a world-class view of the peak. Yes, you'll be quite comfortable up there. Maybe I could get on the roof and climb down the back? 
A presidential suite? Marvelous idea, Oshiro. What is your name? For our records. I'm Madeline. But again, I'm really not interested in staying. Right this way, Miss Madeline. It appears to be a very old and dusty guestbook. Many of the pages are damaged or missing. The comments, however, are glowing. We'll never forget our time here. I've never felt more at peace. Thank you. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get the strawberry. Down. Oh, no. No, we cannot. We'll try that again. Ooh, no. You know what? We're going to skip that strawberry, and we're just going to keep going. Okay, let's not try and skip steps here. <laughs> All right, where are we going now? Let's go get the keys. Uh oh, that's no good. Oh, secrets. I did not realize this was here. Where are we going? Yeah, this is not the level I thought it would be. Or at least musically, it's not the level I thought it would be. That's all right. Can I? Okay. Oh, all right. All right. Took me a minute there. Nice. Actually, can we trigger that? Yeah. Just to be safe. Oh, geez. Nice. I'll take that. So yeah, tell me if there's any games that have had some sort of emotional impact in you on you. I'd love to hear your stories about the games that made you feel a certain way. Also, uh, we are... We're missing something for sure. Oh, we still gotta get the key. I totally forgot about that part. The main reason we went to this room. Okay. Okay. Down. Up. Oh yeah, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. All right, we laughing. Crack that open. Um, so here we go. So yeah, I think we can talk a little bit more <clears throat> more about my, I guess the the darkest time of my life here, and how I overcame it. I think that, yeah, for me, it was being in the radio broadcasting industry and losing my job. And at that point, like, I knew it was going to be hard. Like, it's so hard just to get your foot in the door in that business to begin with because the jobs are so in demand and there's so few of them that I, I felt like I'd won the lottery when I got that internship and when they converted me to being a paid employee. And then when I lost it, Please follow me closely, Miss Madeline. The elevator is just down the hall. 
The hotel's in pretty rough shape. Is it really open for business? Of course we're open. The Celestial Resort Hotel would never close during prime tourism season. Rough shape? What does she mean by that? Oh, please allow me to carry your luggage. My bag? No thanks, I'll keep it. Hmm, very well. What a pecu peculiar guest. Yeah, what was I going to say? Um. Oh, just about kind of my story of uh, being in a dark place and coming back. So, yeah, I lost my job in the... As a... In promotion slash announcing. And I knew it was going to be really hard to get another job. And I applied to seemingly hundreds of other radio stations across the country... I was ready to move if need be and like nobody nobody bit the only interview I got was for a copywriting job I'd done some copywriting during my internship some of the commercials went to air and this one radio station in this small town in the province that I'm in actually reached out and I did an interview and I think the big thing that sticks with me from that interview is that they really grilled me on my experience. Like, it wasn't even so much about the writing. It was about how they thought I would cope with living in a small town. Because I lived... I, I've lived in the suburbs or the city close to the the big city here for pretty much my whole life. And... They had some, they made it clear in the interview that they had some concerns about whether I could, were, whether I could be, do okay living out there. And I think that was a big part of why I didn't get that job. But the fact that I got an interview for it made me think that, oh, maybe I could go into advertising instead. Like I've I've written some stuff I've gone to, I've gone to air if I put in some more effort into that like maybe that's a possible career opportunity for me. Ah damn. But I wanted to try radio first, so like even after applying, I applied. I got a job at my a radio station that my friend worked at in a different department that. That was not what I wanted to do long term. It was, hey, keep my foot in the door. It was, it was about me trying to keep my foot in the door and then hopefully someday catching my break. And you know what? Maybe if I had stuck around long enough, I would have gotten that break. But I had to think about like where my life was going at that point, And I was really unhappy with where I was and what I wasn't achieving. Miss Madeline, I really must implore you to keep up. I'm running a world-class establishment here. I don't have time to wait around for meandering guests. You really don't have to wait for me. I'm just looking for a way through this place. Oh, Shiro, you idiot. The customer is always right. Business is finally picking up and you lose your temper? Oh, of course, Miss Madeline. My sincere apologies. I was out of line. Please, feel free to explore at your leisure. And so I was just like in a really, really dark place with my career pretty much having misfired and not being able to go anywhere. All my friends had kind of moved out or moved on. I was still working a part-time job that I swore I would, would have dropped by that point. And I felt stuck. I felt like that year and a half to two years of my life, I was a complete failure and... I was beating myself up every day about it and just like, why why didn't this work out for you? I didn't understand it. And yeah, eventually when I was like, I need to go back to school, like I, I could sit here, I could keep sending out these demos and maybe it works out for me someday, but how much of my, my existing life am I willing to give up? And I felt like I'd given up enough chasing this this dream and 
decided, you know what, I just need a fresh start. Let's go find something else. And that was where the copywriting thing came in. The only interview I had gotten... Oh, let's go talk to this guy again. Arg, this clutter is out of control. When did this happen? I don't even know where to begin. Mr. Oshiro, do you run this whole place by yourself? You're right, Miss Madeline. I, I'll never sort this mess out alone. It's hopeless. That's not what I meant. Just breathe, Mr. Oshiro. Breathe. It's just a little spring cleaning. Well, more than a little. But I can help. You're too kind, but I wouldn't even bother. It's a lost cause. Yes. Na -na 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 -na. Yeah, this is where the music gets dope. So yeah, that's where I decided to go back to school, at least put myself back into a position where I was fresh out of school and employable for something again, anything. And at the time, I was hoping like I could get a job as a copywriter in advertising, but then along the way, I realized that that's not what I wanted to do. I think I found something else that I enjoyed more. Or at least an area of advertising that I liked more. I, I wouldn't figure out the job part until many years into the industry. I got a job in one capacity. Ultimately decided it wasn't for me. But I had the opportunity to switch career paths while still working. And that's that's been hugely helpful for me. But yeah, how do you how do you come to grips with like the monster in your head that's telling you that you're su you suck or you you failed or you're a disappointment like or whatever is going on in your head that is negatively affecting your life? Wait, what? Am I just dodging around that egg? Yeah, why didn't that egg fire? Oh, it doesn't matter. We got through it. And we'll get through this together. Alright, where to next? Alright, definitely not through there. We don't have a key. Uh... Guess we can talk about some other games that almost were my game of the year. One of those games, God of War, on the PlayStation 4. That was just a amazing reinvention of the God of War series. Oh, here we go. An old paper sticks out from amid the clutter. Attention, hotel staff. It is my sad duty to inform you that the Celestial Resort Hotel will close indefinitely following this season due to circumstances beyond our control. It was an honor to have served alongside you all as we worked tirelessly to ensure that our guests enjoyed the most, most hospitable and memorable experience possible. I write this with a heavy heart. This hotel has become my home it's staff and patrons, my family. I miss you all dearly, Mr. Oshiro. Mm. Mm. Oh, Pico 8? <laughs> yeah, there's a little Easter egg here. We'll play a little bit of this. It's basically, <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty much just Celeste, but like super 8-bit. Well, not even. I love that, though. All right. Let's just exit. <laughs> it is a neat Easter egg. Oh, I love the sound, the underwater sound when games do this. 
Okay, so can't do anything here right now. Oh. Alright, that's closed off. Where are we going? I haven't even begun cleaning, and already I feel a renewed lightness of spirit. That's the power of positive thinking. Um, actually, I cleared out some of the clutter for you. Oh yes, thank you, Miss Madeline. But please, relax and let the hotel staff handle it. Oh sure, you fool, you're losing her. Guests don't want to spend their time cleaning. Are you okay? Yes, of course. This is the first hotel you'll ever visit, you'll see. How could I let my problems pile up like this? Mmm, there we go. Open some gates. Oh, I rushed into that. But yeah, I love... Yeah, this level is all about Mr. Oshiro and all the clutter in his hotel just representing, like, the... The mental and emotional baggage he carries about the failure of his hotel. There we go. Oh, there's probably a secret back here. Let's go. Yep. Do I really want the strawberry right now? Oh, we were right there. We were right there. Let's try it one more time. Oh, yeah. We money. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Down we go. No! What am I supposed to do exactly? Not that. Clearly not that. Also not that. Nope. Great. Another thing I love about Celeste. <clears throat> it is a really tough game. The platforming in this is going to test you, even in the main campaign, and the B-sides are even harder. But they have these accessibility features that make it so that you can fine-tune the difficulty in a way that makes sense for you while still giving you a challenge. You can adjust things like giving yourself an extra jump, letting yourself grab onto walls longer. And yeah, you tune the variables of the game to a point where it works for you. And the game doesn't judge. It doesn't penalize you for having beaten the game or any of the game that way. And so I think it's really important that... I think it's great that it has that because... The game has a really important story to tell, and it would be a shame if people didn't play it because the levels were too hard. And so I would say, if you are playing Celeste and you are having a hard time because it is a hard game, like adjust it to whatever you need because it's so worth it otherwise. Okay, here we go. Getting closer to that key. There's Mr. Oshiro. It's looking a lot nicer in here. Can you show me the exit now? But Miss Madeline, you barely enjoyed the myriad luxuries that our hotel has to offer. We can talk more once I finish cleaning. I'm very busy. Yes, young people have no respect these days. You're welcome. Sheesh. So again, if you're just tuning in, my name is Jet from InThirdPerson.com, a person like a video games, board games, 
and other nerdy pursuits, and we are playing Celeste, my personal pick for Game of the Year 2018. Oh, Teddy's here. Theo, that's his name, not Teddy. Theo, are you a guest here too? Madeline, I am so happy to see you right now. I'm all about spooky mysteries, but this is getting too real. Have you talked to Mr. Oshiro? I think he could really use some help. You think? He's a creepy old weirdo. I bet he's cleaning out a nook to hide our bodies as we speak. I'm gonna crawl through this vent. It's blowing cold air from the outside. Come on! Mr. Oshiro's troubled, but I don't think he wants to hurt us. He just needs to clean up this mess. I want to help him. Madeline, that's very sweet, but this is dangerous. We need to get out of here and call an expert on creepy old dudes. We aren't prepared for this. I think I can get through to him. Go on ahead and I'll catch up with you later. Man, you're the most you're more stubborn than my sister. I thought I I thought that was impossible. Take care of yourself. Thanks, Theo. I'll see you outside. Woo. All right. Let's keep it moving. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa. I just completely, like, blacked out there for a second. Or I was just like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. All right. Okay, down we go. <clears throat> Does anyone have any New Year's resolutions 2019? <clears throat> I don't know if I... I don't have... I don't like making New Year's resolutions. I've, I've talked about it a few times. I just don't... The, the, the switch of the calendar doesn't really motivate me to do stuff. But there are things that I would like to do. I mean, personal stuff. I know I need to eat better. I need to spend mo less money on junk food and buying lunch at work because it's really expensive. Mm. Uh oh. But it, there are some stuff. There's some stuff with the stream. There's some stuff with my website. Some stuff with the social media. All the links in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen there. There we go. Clean it up. There's definitely some things I want to do on this front that I need to work through this year to make things better and just better balance the workload for myself. Still can't go through there. Oh, man. There we go. Get the key. Oh, the door was top left, right? Top left, correct? There you are. You certainly have a knack for wandering off. It was tough, but I sorted everything out for you. The Celestial Resort Hotel extends its gratitude for your assistance, Miss Madeline. Of course, the staff had to mess had the mess under control. Oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> How humiliating. You must be eager to see your room. It's just up the ele up the elevator and down the hall. Sure. What the heck? Show me the presidential suite. It sounds lovely. Now's your last chance, Oshiro. Don't lose her now. Okay. Up we go. Uh-oh. Mm. What's the trick? There it is. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Man, it's amazing here. How's it going with El Creepo? 
I helped him clean up that huge mess, but he was kind of a jerk about it. And he still thinks he can convince me to stay. Madeline, seriously? My bad idea radar is off the charts on this one. You should get out of here. If I disappear now, Mr. Oshiro could have a meltdown. And maybe I can actually do something good. For once. Forget your karma, dude. I think that guy is going to melt down no matter what. You have to think about your safety. Theo, I'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect you to listen. See you on the outside, Jailbird. Okay. Let me just check something here real quick. Alright. Uh oh. Totally blacked out there and... Um, okay. I gotta reach higher. One, two. All right, what's what's the pattern here? Oh, we almost had it there. One, two. Grab it. Nope, can't go straight. Gotta go up. One, two. Oh, we were right there. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Oh, no! Oh, I dropped the ball on that. No, we messed that up. Mm, okay. We can do it. Oh. Can't go straight. Got to go up. Nope. But man, we were right... Oh, please. Thank you. Yep, th that strawberry's just gonna have to wait. Oh, man. Okay. Just completely zoned out again. I gotta keep my eyes on the prize here. Uh-oh. That's not good. What am I doing wrong now? What am I doing wrong? We can... There. Whew. We can do this, Jet. We can do this. <clears throat> also, there are people speedrunning this game that can beat it in, like, less than half an hour. It's nuts. Oh no, oh, I messed that up. Really impressive, and people just using some crazy jump tactics to skip large parts of the game. Yeah, 
This is it, Oshiro, your last chance. You already ruined it. Making a guest clean up your mess? She'll never stay. No, she's still here. There's still a chance. The presidential suite is the key. It will surely impress her. Uh-oh. Get it together, Oshiro! Oh, man. There you are, Miss Madeline. Follow me quickly. We're almost there. Whoa. Nope. Drop. Don't have a key. We're going to have to come back for that. Ooh, secrets? Yep. What kind of... Oh, okay, it's a strawberry. Maybe not. Let's get what we need to get. And we'll keep it moving. Alright, so it's just a strawberry here. We'll let it go. I'm okay with that. It's Mr. Oshiro's diary. The final entry appears to be decades old. As of today, the hotel is officially closed. Charlotte organized the staff for a farewell hike up the mountain. Most of us have never seen the summit. It seems like a fitting goodbye, but with the, when the time came, I couldn't bear to leave without looking around one last time. I told them to go on without me. I will catch up with them soon. <clears throat> After I double check that everything is in order, I can't believe my time here is over. What am I going to do now? Perhaps I'll stay one last night so that the hotel and I can have a proper goodbye. Whew. Oh, hold up. One sec. I have to check something real quick. As is customary, my encoder goes out and sometimes the audio gets super messed up and we need to check. So let's do that here real quick. Testing one, two, three. Actually, let's change the camera angle here. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Uh, it's okay. All right, we'll keep going. We'll close out this level and then we'll call it a stream. Sorry about that. I gotta check every time. Every time the encoder goes. Hmm. Okay. Oh no. Uh oh. Yep, can't sit there too long. <laughs> We can do it, we can do it. Let's go. There's supposed to be some sort of fix for that happening soon where the end bank... Oh wait, I found something that I had not found before. We've got a B-side right there. Uh oh. Yeah, I've never seen this part before. Hold on. The only B side I found. I've never heard this music before. Wow. This is cool. Okay. We can do it. We can do it. Oh. I completely timed that wrong. 
now. Okay. Oh. Oh, I am timing this all wrong. We can get there, though. Just patience. There we go. B side get. Nice. Excellent. Wait, does that mean... Was that... Nope. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. Let's go. If you're just tuning in, I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com, a personal look at video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. Glad to have you on the stream. Morning my time. I have no idea where you are in the world, but wherever you are, if you're, you're watching this live, thank you for watching. If you are watching this after the fact on YouTube or on Twitch VODs, thank you for tuning in as well. I appreciate it. And shoutouts to everyone ho hosting the channel this morning. Shoutouts to twitch.tv slash xdoublejump. Thank you for hosting my channel. Always appreciate Chris and Rachel. There we go. Chris and Rachel from Double Jump. They write every day. Doublexjump.com. They are fantastic people. Friends of the show. They were on my channel earlier this week for an episode of Boss Rush. And hoping to get them back on soon for Codenames Night in the near future. Uh-oh. Also, shoutouts to twitch.tv slash the8bitd. Thank you so much for hosting this morning. I know you've been streaming a lot of Dead by Daylight. Definitely check her channel out. She's been doing some big things on our channel. Kudos to her. And shoutouts to Extra Life TO. Thank you for hosting me this morning. Extra Life TO is the Toronto Guild of Extra Life, the grassroots movement of gamers trying to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. Actually, about that, I I claimed my codes for my premium rewards. So when you sign up for Extra Life, you can spend, you can donate an extra few dollars for some potential extra rewards if you raise a certain amount of money. So I got a, a decal for my efforts. I got a, I got a decal. I'm getting a shirt. And I'm getting the silver medal, which is unlocked when you raise $500 or more. And of course, we raised $800, which is fantastic. And I think next year we're going to try... Let's try and get the gold one. I want a gold medal. I think being able... You have to raise $1,000 for Extra Life to unlock that gold medal. And let's see if we can do that this year. I think that we'll make that the goal. Worst case scenario, we whatever we raise will be wonderful because it goes towards the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals. It's, I believe, 170 hospitals across Canada and the U.S. Here we go. Here we are, our award-winning presidential suite. Truly, it is the very definition of rustic luxury. <laughs> I'll stand back and allow you to soak in the majesty. I understand it can be a lot to handle. So, what do you think? It's, uh, it's beautiful. The furniture looks expensive. It's very spacious. The colors are elegant. I can tell you put a lot of work into it. I knew it would impress you. Yeah. So, can I get a roof, get on the roof from here? You imbecile, you're losing her. Or, I almost forgot to mention. Valued guests such as yourself stay in our finest accommodations at half price. I... I don't want to stay. Please, Miss Madeline. Please stay. Mr. Oshiro, I've already been sidetracked too long. Mm-mm. Madeline, sweetie, forget this loser. Loser? You're in denial, old man. This resort is a dump. 
No one would ever want to stay here. Someone had to say it. She doesn't mean that. I... I'm very busy. Please leave me, Miss Madeline. Come on, Miss Madeline. You heard the man. Where would you be without me? I thought we'd never get rid of him. You owe me one. Add it to the list. Leave me alone! I thought you were so determined to keep climbing. Now all of a sudden you're some weirdo's therapist? Why won't you go away? Miss Madeline, before you go, I need to ask you one question. Why would you be so nice to me only to run away? What did I do wrong? Oh, give it a break. You still don't get it? She only helps people to feed her twisted ego. She never cared about you. Shut up! I just wanted to help. You're both pathetic. Pathetic? You only came here to humiliate me. I won't grovel at your feet any longer. Uh, alright. Well, we gotta run. That didn't work out. These drums, though. man oh I mm. okay fine let's go uh oh we can do this we can do this Ah, uh, no. That was a silly mistake right there. Nope. Straight. We can do it, we can do it. Come on. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! Ugh. Gotta get it right the first time. There it is. All right, let's get out. Okay, come on, we can do this. Uh, nope. That's not going to do it. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Bop on his head. Across, up, across, grab. Okay. Breathe. Breathe. There. Okay. Hmm. All right. Oh, man. I love these drums. 
Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, I keep I keep missing that part. All right. Note the self. Gunk on the floor. There. Note to self, the next gunk on the floor. My blood is pumping right now. I know some people have that, like, the heart rate meter on their stream, and you can see, like, how, how fast their heart is actually beating. Maybe I should have that for this one. Okay. Go, go. Okay. Get out of here, Miss Oshiro. Huh? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right. We can do it. Miss Oshiro, stop. I just wanted to help. decided to close the hotel for repairs. The second floor plumbing is leaking. The library is in complete disarray. Not to mention the hole in the ceiling of the presidential suite. Please, just leave me alone. Damn. Okay, that is going to do it for today's stream. Thank you so much to everyone that came by. And we unlocked a B-side. I've never unlocked that B-side before, I don't think. So that's that's a nice accomplishment. We're going to continue this stream probably on Wednesday. This Wednesday evening, I usually stream around 9 o'clock. I'll try and start earlier if I can, but otherwise 9 o'clock will be the go time. We'll continue our journey through Celeste. This was a lot of fun. Just a great reminder of why I picked this. For my game of the year because i haven't played it since january of last year and it just made such an impact on my heart i've been thinking about it all this time of like i need to go back and play this again and still loving it <sighs> now before we go let's plug a couple of things uh check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games board games and other nerdy pursuits i post some past vods up there i post a lot of written work as well I've got a review for Drop Mix up right now, and my full review for Shadow of the Tomb Raider is coming up soon. Um, also, check out check me out on Instagram at in third person D O T C O M. So in third person .com. I post a lot of stuff there. I try and post every day. Try and give you guys some cool content each time I post. And thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you to Ego Shen. Long time no see. Happy 2019. And congratulations on your achievement unlocked, so to speak. Uh, thank you to Frisco for coming through. Always a pleasure to see you. And for anyone else watching this on Twitch, YouTube after the fact, thank you. And thank you again to everyone who hosted the channel. So Extra Life TO, make sure to donate to them at, well, donate to the Extra Life cause at extralife.org. Thank you to 8BitD for hosting. And of course, thank you to Chris and Rachel. Oh, I got the wrong layout. Hold up. If I go here. Oh, we got the Jenna dance going. Let me get this one more time. One more time. Shout outs to Chris and Rachel over at Double Jump. Thank you for hosting my channel as well. You guys are awesome, but I tell you that like every day. So, 
you didn't need to know that. But everyone else, go everyone else who doesn't know that, go check out their work at doublexjump.com or their cha Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash xdoublejump. All right, I got to go. My name is Jet from InThirdPerson.com. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And we will be back with some Celeste later. But till then.